Slab Leaks in Dallas, Texas. I know that's something you don't think about driving down the road, but actually, I got a call this morning from a friend of mine. Actually, I got an email where he forwarded me the message from the city saying, your water meter has not stopped turning since a certain time. And I believe this was actually seven o'clock yesterday morning. He sees no sign of any water running, no sign of surface water, anything at all like that. So we're actually headed over to his house right here just north of downtown Dallas. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go through the leak detection process and see if we can determine what the problem is and maybe even where it is. Just thought we'd do something a little bit different today. You actually get to get out and ride in the Jeep with me. Ooh, be careful. Okay, so we're here. So I'm gonna get my things together and get ready to go inside. Always look for traffic. I've got all my leak detection equipment in here and I've got my tools in here. The main things I'm carrying in right now, my booties, my gloves, and my COVID mask. So let's go inside, we'll talk, see what's going on, and then we'll go from there. Come on. So as I'm walking up to the house, I'm continuously looking around. Do I see the water meter? Do I see the double check for the irrigation system? But also, do I see any puddles of water? Because sometimes it could be an irrigation system, it could be the main coming up to the house, and if there's enough pressure or anything like that, it could actually create ground surface water. So as I'm walking up to the house, those are the things that I'm looking for. Now, I'll come up, talk to the customer. I'm probably not gonna show you this part, but I'm gonna come up, talk to him, let him know what we're gonna do, because we're gonna start looking here outside. If we don't have to go in the house, we don't want to, but we're prepared if we need to. Okay, so I've gone to the Jeep and I've grabbed my equipment. Now I've looked around out front. Now the water meters in this part of Dallas are not in the front, they're actually in the back. But I've been looking around, checking out the irrigation system, and I really don't see anything here. So as you see, we're getting ready to start videoing some stuff, but what I wanted to do is get my equipment. We're gonna go through the backyard. We're gonna get back there to the meter, watch the meter and listen to it and see what it's doing. and see if we can find the double check and see what we can come up with there. You always want to remember, keep looking for water everywhere. Okay, so as I'm walking around, I'm continuously looking for anything that may show signs of a lot of water. I don't see any hose bibs out here or anything like that, but I do know that this is a pier and beam house because the access hole is right down under here. Now, I can climb down there here in a little bit, but first, like I said, I want to do a perimeter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go out back to the meter and listen to it and watch it and see what it's doing. I've been to this house before because I did an inspection on it before he bought it. Now there used to be a pool in the backyard and there used to be a hose bib over here somewhere. And I actually don't see it anymore. And I know that it was there because there was an auto fill hooked up to it to the swimming pool. So I'm gonna keep looking around and see what I can find, but we're gonna go back to the meter. So what I'm doing is I'm watching because this is a digital meter and I'm trying to see if it'll give me, well right now it's showing zero GPMs. Yeah, it's showing zero water flow whatsoever right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and listen just to see what's happening. it's bouncing a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of movement and I've, I've got just a little bit of noise. It's not very loud, so I can't tell if it's just white noise that I'm hearing. Now, as you see right here, I'm reading 0.00, .00 but every now and then it'll jump up to 0.33. So that tells me there may be just a little bit of water movement, but God, if there is, this is a tiny one.
I'm actually getting no noise whatsoever. Now, I assume that this double check is going off to the irrigation system. So what I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to go ahead and just turn off the valve just to see if that slows it down here. That'll at least let me know if there is a problem on the irrigation system or if it is in the house. And if he starts yelling that he doesn't have water in the house, I'm gonna know this double check shuts off the house too. I'm showing nothing but zeros. I'm gonna give it just a couple of minutes because this is one thing that I like to do too. You saw me shut off the water to the double check assembly. I'm still reading zeros here on the meter, but whenever I open that, if these zeros start coming up, then I know that there is a small leak on that side. It's just letting out the water so slow that it's not, not always being indicated by the meter. I got no sign of anything at all there. Now, as you can tell by looking, some of these houses around here have two meters. And that's great, because what that does, that separates the, the house system, the potable water system, from the irrigation system. Most of these have them, but this one doesn't. At least not that we can see. I'm still pulling zeros. So sometimes it never hurts just to look around just to see, is there another meter here? Literally, he got an email from the city saying, hey, look, your meter has not stopped turning, but we're clearly looking at it and we're reading zeros for a long period of time. And looking around back here, I see no other water meter anywhere. So this one's kind of confusing. Okay, right there I'm getting a 0.33 and then to zero. Okay, so we've watched the meter for a little bit. We've turned off the double check. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go up and check the house just to see, is there any water there on the potable system or have we turned it off? Hopefully this is just turning off the irrigation, not the potable water, because it looks like all we're reading now is zeros. And like I said, whatever leak is here is tiny because it's showing zeros time after time after time, but then all of a sudden you get a 0.33 showing us there is a little bit of water movement. So oh, I'm listening to anything that I can find that might be leaking. Hose bibs, anything like that. I've got the irrigation turned off, so I'm gonna talk to the homeowner and find out, do they still have water in the house? Now, if I can find an outsized hose bib, other than that one, might check it myself. I've listened to the frost proofs that I found outside. I don't hear anything. Now, I turned on the one on the other side of the house and I've turned on the one over here just to let some of the water out of the system. Because now what I can do is I can go back to the meter, open the meter and the double check, turn the double check back on. If I don't move, see any water moving, I know that that completely isolates the irrigation system only. These are definitely tied into the potable water system. I know because I've been up under this house. What I've done, I've listened to the frost proofs that I found outside, I don't hear anything. Now, I turned on the one on the other side of the house and I've turned on the one over here just to let some of the water out of the system. Because now what I can do is I can go back to the meter, open the meter and the double check, turn the double check back on. If I don't move, see any water moving, I know that that completely isolates the irrigation system only. These are definitely tied into the potable water system. I know because I've been up under this house.
Okay, so what I'm doing here, I actually turned off the valve before the meter. So we've tested a couple of things. We checked to make sure we had pressure with the double check closed, so we know we're good there. So we know that that isolates the irrigation system. So now what I've done, I've got the irrigation system back open, but I've closed off the meter of the house, so I'm gonna let it set for a few minutes, turn it on, and then see if we have a spike in water flow. So we've done a few things. We know that there is some low flow shown every now and then, it's not consistent, and it's not when the irrigation system is valved off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn the irrigation system back off, just to let the customer know. Then we can see what the city tells him about his meter. Has his meter stopped spinning then? So we'll turn it off, see what that does. If it does, that tells him that there is a leak on the irrigation system. He can call an irrigation system company to come look at that, or, it won't, and then we gotta tell him we'll come back and do a pressure test and then get a little deeper into a leak detection to find out exactly what the problem is. That's enough for today. Let's see what we can find later. As you see, we've looked around. We hadn't seen anything for sure. We've isolated the irrigation system and we opened up the pressure system while the double check shut off so we know that that does separate and feed two different systems. So what we'll do now is we'll end up coming back once the customer has had time to see is the meter still running with the irrigation system shut off or not. Most of the times that's a problem. But what we'll do is we'll give him time to figure that out, see if the meter stopped, then we can come back and do a pressure test on the house or the irrigation system and see what kind of problems we have. That's a wrap.